work harder to try to get just like their own story up and running? No. Did anybody face more bollocks? No. Am I doing anything wrong? No. I'm being what you call free spirited, which is the rarest, hardest thing to actually do in life for some people in a marginalised demographic, blah, 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 but forced from job to fucking sign on, job to sign on, so much so that they lose their own sense of direction like a headless pigeon right that's what it really was happening and when I got work experience by the job centre I found myself a place to work called the bird's nest theatre I said oh my friend's doing something there he said he can I can do my work experience there sorry you've already done a day on the conservation training you have to go to that place man it was like that woman off the job lot and I was like rah so I'm making bird boxes and I'm in the paper. So it was like, the paper, it's like, there you go, that is so terror society. Picture of me in a paper, making a bird box. So it's like people are trying to spurn you on, but in a different direction. It's very much your, in the words of Coldplay, king under your control. And that's how it feels, like, pop it on a lonely string. And that's where I've been left mostly, predominantly, without an agent or anything else. And that's what most people are taught that that's what they're supposed to look for and aspire to because they can't do everything themselves but when you go to these colleges noted how to do this how to do that how to do production how to do that how to do this how to do that and i cannot cannot specify this enough when people are in a sub unconscious sub state they're watching things with no discerning eye but i can see through those glorious artists I can see through them and say that they are not by any means the best equipped to spurn a person's inspiration they say inspire to inspire and everybody needs their own inspiration because I wasn't inspired until I saw a specific artist but it probably wasn't the best thing in my best interest to follow this particular person but I did but I needed that inspiration, so it is important to inspire to inspire, because there is always somebody that will kick that box for you and make you propel you forward. Because Dua Lipa wouldn't do that for me, because she's a personification of some sort of exceptional goddess energy thing that is most not most people. Like, but everybody looks to that pyramid and go, that is unobtainable to be anything even remotely and it is teaching people to be one sort of mode of thought and that's just unrealistic and that's what I found in community people do follow the idols false idols no offense I'm not an idol Jesus is an idol that's it Right, get your shit straight. Don't follow. Don't pick up the phone. Don't follow. But there are some characters out there that do personify the work of certain goddess energy, and that's not cool because it generates a hard-ass sort of thing. You could be the one, another unattainable thing. We walk around thinking we're so important that we're gonna go somewhere where we're gonna be this, and people sense that in us, and then they hate on that. If you think that you've got something potentially. I have got something potentially and have always had it. I am a ordained community creator. I am. This is my job. I don't care how I do it in many ways. Whether it be this, I thought it would be in film, I thought it would be this, I thought that. But this is work too. This is work too. Because all that manifesting stuff, even Christianity, failed me. There were other things that I needed to solidify my game plan. And to make me withstandable titanium against all that that hates on that feeling that you have oneness of some sort of sharing capability within a commune within the gate greater scene to aspire to it is to be treated brutally is to be abused to be kicked around is to be all the most extremist of tests so because you're worth it oh yes I'm worth it now I know I know my limitations I don't go home with strangers I don't do anything where I've been more wild before where I've run around more I was wilding and I had a great time wilding I don't do that anymore because it's potentially an energetic loss to me so I'm very much a home home bird now until I get to where I need to get to and I'm happy with that because my parents my, my world so yeah happy days I hope you got inspired from that because we need more 
humanitarian, Christian minded innovators to actually make themselves present, to then get to where they need to get to, to then implement the changes of that healing hands calling that is the people out there that have this great command over mind over matter and know the importance of input and know the importance of connection above and beyond sterile sterile presentations of an NHS nature that tells you that is perfection it's not if God was one thing he was fucking imaginative think about that everybody is imaginative I should know more than anyone because they tried to paint me everything under the fucking sun whilst I was on my little climb little righteous little righteous simple ISI working class I do you know what I'm saying God imaginative so don't tell me that like when you institutionalize pharma and everything else and you make it so sterile clinical that was the vibe coming through and that was fucking pure evil I'm telling you man I saw evil I saw the belly of the beast I stand for people and that means diversity. That means accepting people's belief systems. Appreciating that if you can believe in something, it's the most important thing in the world. I.e. believe in yourself. Believe in whatever makes you internally thrive. And it is individuality. It is unique. Everybody is unique. Everybody has a unique fingerprint. Everyone's biology and tail is different. And it's not all about money.